in a bit more automatically if I just kind of unplug my phone temporarily. And uh, now Riley wants to play a game. A game within a game. And she wants to do the gosh awful me fact too. Testing my love for them. Usually, the when it comes to kids born on the island, their default favorite favorite color goes to red. Well, at least that means I can relate to them on that on that part. Not like they have to really, you know, whatever. Well, I'm not complaining if if one favorite character is red, uh, color is red, and false AF on that one. couple days apart. There we go. Or wait, I'm pretty sure I changed it. Or later on after that, I I chose the date May 4th, I believe. The day of the 4th. You don't even have to be a Star Wars fan to know that one. Seriously, if you've been on Twitter long enough and, you, and you're on Twitter each time, each May the 4th, it's always trending, so even if you're not a Star Wars fan like me, it would become common knowledge very quickly if you're even just an, a casual but relatively active social media user. And you see those hashtags though, and all your favorite and all your favorite online personalities mentioning it. Mentioning it, retweeting it, etc. She wants to do the gosh awful me facts as well. The correct answer is false. Next up, your second Islander fact. I like how they say tummy and not and, and usually not the actual word stomach. Uh the correct answer is the default is usually false. red. Oh well not they their favorite color was a bit closer than I thought. Yeah, uh, false AF. There we go. Pretty sure JJ's been around ironically longer than a Gunnar, which is random because the former is a French revolutionary and the latter is a flippin' Viking, but whatever. Duh. Well, that's the most intimate detail one was, one has been able to talk about openly in this game, other than simply them asking if it's okay to have a baby. And we all know how babies are made, but anyway. Uh, yeah, it's nighttime, almost. Uh, not too many problems. And all of a sudden, David, David in particular has a friend-related issue. Someone make fun of you for that alone? I want to be friends with Ryan. No, he's not a friendship making mood. What should I talk about to get along with him? Your hamster one he. Uh Thanks for the advice. I'll go talk to him right now. Even though the usual common sense answer would just simply to would just simply to be nice two-worded sentence of advice, be nice. <laughs> they must really be thinking deeply because one of them was giggling. That sounds super deep. I told him to talk to him about something deep, not super funny, but whatever. It worked. We are friends now thanks to you. At least you did it in person and not online. I want you to have this. So you have a bit more ability to. Your hometown someday. Sounds fun. 
they have a bit more ability to read their body language and and uh i don't know be able to tell who they are by how they talk i don't know instead of just online texting or whatever and not potentially getting the full context or meaning via just written words speaking of nasty I was about to make a joke about that being every every girl's best friend, but then again, that would sound sexist to, to some, I don't know. But let's give her a green pair of Raycons. <laughs> that was a bit of an underwhelming reaction compared to how many glowing reviews Raycons get. From all of your favorite creators, they rave, they just rave about Raycons, so that's a bit of an underwhelming statement, but then again, she probably wasn't listening to any music the very second she got them, and if they're noise-canceling, then she wouldn't be able to hear her husband complain, but I don't know. And now Fred has a general problem. I don't think I would have to give him a, a gift him a guitar because he's got one in the background. What should I say when I'm done? You too, huh? Uh. I'm not feeling super original, so... insulting I can muster with this game. <laughs> Set it a bit off, but whatever. You look like you've had a rough day. Pick up your the most insulting I can I can get for this game and when it comes to YouTube standards these days. I guess I'll figure out Magpie's problem quickly. Blasted buzzards. <laughs> that sounds like something you'd say when you're angry. Okay, yeah, it is a quick problem. And I couldn't I couldn't even tell what the heck that was. Looked like a key, but the only keys in here are the brass keys. Oh. No, no, no wonder why she said blasted buzzards. Even though buzzards aren't magpies, but whatever. And the Easter Bunny has a problem. <laughs> clearly, clearly very original, I know, right? It's not punny. It's a bunny. <laughs> okay, I think she said that about her brother-in-law, not her husband. It's not like she was crap talking on her husband. And I think that's where I'll save it for today. And I'll see you next time, guys, in whatever video I make. After I save a second time and we see that dance move. <laughs>